Welcome back to our channel. This is a Ned Voyage presentation. Navigating the airport can be a stressful experience, especially if you're not familiar with the ins and outs of air travel. To help you avoid common pitfalls and make your airport experience as smooth as possible, here's a list of the top 10 things not to do while at the airport. By keeping these tips in mind, you can streamline your journey from check-in to boarding and ensure a stress-free start to your travels. At number 10, we have avoid overpacking. Overpacking, though it may seem like a safety net, can actually complicate your travel experience more than you think. It's not just about the extra baggage fees, which can be hefty, but also the inconvenience of lugging around heavy suitcases. Imagine running to catch your connecting flight with a suitcase that weighs as much as a small elephant. Instead, ask yourself, do I really need this? Chances are you'll find that you can do without a lot of items that you initially thought were essential. Plus, there are tons of packing techniques out there you can utilize to maximize space. Rolling clothes instead of folding, using packing cubes and wearing your heaviest items on the plane are just a few examples. Remember, traveling light can save you a lot of stress and unnecessary costs. Moving on to number nine, don't ignore security guidelines. Airport security regulations are there for a reason, and that reason is you. Your safety and the safety of others around you. One key guideline you should always remember is the 311 rule for carry-on liquids. That's 3.4 ounces per container stored in a one quart-sized bag and one bag per passenger. Failing to adhere to these rules could lead to some unpleasant consequences. Your items could be confiscated, you might cause delays for yourself and others, and in some instances, you could even be slapped with a hefty fine. So, before you zip up that suitcase, double check your carry-on items. Make sure you're not packing any prohibited items and that your toiletries comply with the 311 rule. Because in the end, it's all about ensuring a smooth and safe journey for everyone. So, always keep in mind, safety first. Number eight on our list is don't be late. Now we've all been there rushing through traffic, praying to every deity that the check-in counter is still open. But let's be honest, it's not a situation you want to find yourself in. Airports are not the place for a last-minute sprint. Arriving early at the airport gives you ample time to check in, go through security, and find your gate without breaking a sweat. For domestic flights, it's recommended you arrive at least two hours in advance, and for international flights, make it three hours. Consider the unexpected too. You might encounter long lines, last-minute gate changes, or even unforeseen security checks. Having that buffer of time can make all the difference between a relaxed journey or a stressful ordeal. So, next time you're planning a trip, factor in a little extra time for the airport. Remember, it's better to wait at the airport than to miss your flight. Coming in at number seven, don't forget your documents. This might seem obvious, but you'd be surprised how many people arrive at the airport only to realize they've left their passport on the kitchen counter. Having the right documents is your golden ticket to a smooth journey. These include your passport, identification cards, and any necessary visas. And let's not forget about your boarding pass and flight itinerary. Without these, you're not going anywhere. It's like arriving at a concert without your ticket. You can hear the music, but you can't join the party. And remember, some countries require specific vaccinations, and you'll need to present proof of these as well. So here's a tip. Make a checklist of all the documents you need before you start packing. And before you step out the door, run through that list one more time. It's a simple step that can save you a world of stress. Always double check. You have all your documents before you leave for the airport. At number six, we have avoid unnecessary airport shopping. We all know how tempting those duty-free shops can be, with their shiny displays and promises of tax-free luxury. But don't be fooled by the allure. More often than not, the prices at airport shops are higher than what you would find in a regular store. The so-called duty-free deal might not be such a bargain after all. Whether it's a last-minute souvenir, a snack for the flight, or a travel pillow you forgot to pack, the costs can quickly add up. So. Instead of forking over your hard-earned money for overpriced goods, why not plan ahead? Make a list of what you'll need for your trip and pack accordingly. It's a simple step that can save you a lot of stress and money. After all, wouldn't you rather spend your money on experiences at your destination than on overpriced airport goods? It's always wise to plan ahead and save your money. Halfway through our list at number five, don't ignore flight updates. 
Now this one might seem obvious, but you'd be surprised at how many people neglect this crucial step. It's easy to get wrapped up in the hustle and bustle of the airport, but staying updated on your flight status is essential. Flight schedules can change at the drop of a hat due to all manner of reasons, weather conditions, technical difficulties, or even airspace congestion. Not being aware of these changes can lead to missed flights, and trust me, there's nothing fun about being stranded at an airport. Most airlines have apps or websites where you can check your flight status. Some even offer text or email alerts. So take advantage of these services and keep an eye on your flight status. Remember, being proactive and staying informed can save you a lot of trouble. Number four on our list is don't neglect personal hygiene. When we travel, we often find ourselves in close quarters with a multitude of other passengers. This makes airports a hot spot for germs and bacteria. In light of the ongoing pandemic, it's more important now than ever to maintain good personal hygiene. Be sure to wash your hands frequently, especially after touching communal surfaces. Hand sanitizers can be a lifesaver when a washroom isn't immediately available. Don't forget to cover your mouth when coughing or sneezing. It's not just about protecting yourself, but also those around you. Wearing a mask can also help to minimize the spread of airborne particles. And remember, staying hydrated and getting enough sleep can boost your immune system and keep you healthy. Travel can be a joy, but only if you're well enough to enjoy it. Remember, your health is your wealth. Coming in at number three, don't disrespect airport staff. You know, airports are bustling hubs of activity with thousands of people rushing to catch their flights. Amidst this chaos, the airport staff work tirelessly to ensure everyone's safety and comfort. They are the unsung heroes who keep the wheels of the airport machine turning smoothly. From check-in personnel to security officers, from janitors to air traffic controllers, each of them plays a crucial role in your journey. So it's essential to treat them with the respect and patience they deserve. Remember, they're doing their best under often stressful circumstances. If something goes wrong, it's easy to let frustration take over. But remember, the staff are there to help, not to hinder. A polite request or a thank you can make their day and might even make your journey smoother. So, next time you're at the airport, remember, a little kindness goes a long way. At number two, we have avoid unattended luggage. Now this one's serious, folks. Airports are bustling places teeming with travelers from all walks of life. Amidst the hustle, it's all too easy for someone to leave a bag behind. Or worse, for someone with ill intent to plant a suspicious package. But let's not jump to worst case scenarios. Let's talk about the simple fact that your belongings are your responsibility. When you're in transit, always keep your luggage within your sight. This not only minimizes the risk of theft, but also prevents any mistaken luggage swaps. Moreover, if you spot any unattended luggage, it's best to inform airport authorities immediately. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Also remember, unattended luggage can pose a security risk, so your vigilance can help maintain a safer environment for everyone. So when you're at the airport, be mindful of your belongings. Your belonging safety is your responsibility. And finally, at number one, don't panic. Airports can be stressful places, no doubt. The hustle and bustle, the pressure of catching flights, the fear of missing out on important updates. Yet, it's essential to stay calm. Stress can cloud your judgment and lead to mistakes, which we want to avoid at all costs while traveling. So how do we manage this stress? First, take a few deep breaths. It's a simple yet effective technique to regain control over your thoughts. Secondly, remember to give yourself plenty of time. Arriving early can significantly reduce the stress of rushing. Lastly, Remember why you're traveling. Whether it's for a dream vacation or an important business trip, keeping the end goal in mind can help you stay focused and calm. Remember, a calm mind is the key to a successful journey. And that wraps up our top 10 things not to do at the airport. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to Ned Voyage for more interesting contents. Keep watching and bye for now.